okay, and so then why, why did I transition? Um, why, I, I, one, one thing I would ask is like, why would anybody do this to themselves? Right? Like, if, if you look at, like, the Marilyn Manson song, which I think is clearly about transitioning the long, hard road out of hell, you know, he's saying that, like, you, you never said forever would forever be like this. And I, that's part of the reason why I kind of, I liked, I really, really liked Manson, because I, I, I kind of, like, identified with the anger, the angst, but also the... Here it is. Um, so, like, I. This is all like off the top of my head, and I'm just shooting from the hip, and with my, you know, the the picture is awful. There's no lighting. You know, I I my phone my phone cost me one hundred dollars, right? So this is. The camera is worth less than one hundred dollars in my phone, which is why I keep running out of space and whatnot. But I look back as a child, you know, I don't I don't know that I had gender as a child. Like to me, gender has an aspect of philology of language. So, you know, the terms male, female, or um, philosophy in terms of role in society, these are all things that like we learn and accord to, you know, whilst we may be born with like what we call male genitalia versus what we call female genitalia and this aspect of reproduction, you know, gender roles are, are largely a social construct. There are some aspects like men tend to be more aggressive. But that that is also not uh, that is also a stereotype that does not always hold true. Men are, men can also be be very femme. Or uh, you know we would say that like women because their mothers tend to be very loving. But again, that's horse shit because men can be very loving fathers. Right? Men can be men can be like deeply caring, lovely, committed parents. You know, just as much as women. So that doesn't follow logic either. I, you could look at it as being family dynamic. That doesn't, I don't know why that, that would make any sense. I mean, I, like, like I don't know that like, like I love going through women's magazines pre-puberty. And I just kind of thought that, like this was going to be, be be me when I grew up. Now, did did people tell me I was a boy? Yeah, you know, you you sent me out with my friend to play in the woods. I went and played in the woods, you know. Or you sent you put me in a sandbox with another boy and to hand me some Tonka trucks. I'll play. I'd play Tonka trucks, right? I, you know, I loved bicycling as a child, so I did things like. Uh, you know, I got into like stunts and whatnot as a, as a child with bikes and um, like BMX type thing. But also too, like my first bicycles, tricycles or uh, bicycles with the uh, training wheels on the side and stuff like that, that I got those from girlfriends. You know, I spent a lot of time like playing hopscotch with girls and skipping with girls and and hanging out and you know playing imaginary games and fields with girls and stuff like that as a child and, and I also remember being I don't know like I, I remember being attracted to my best friend as a child who, who was a boy I remember being attracted to a girl you know like in like in like first grade why 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 is it like that i don't know how how does 
like I don't think there was any aspect to my 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 mother like like literally like I don't know I went through my mother's stuff endlessly because it, it was like a thing of fascination to me like a thing of fascination in, like 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 her makeup bag was a thing of fascination to me I would open it up when she was not around and you know there was all this like crappy busted up makeup and it had like fallen into the bottom and it had a smell and I mean it wasn't necessarily an attractive a makeup bag isn't necessarily an attractive thing a lot of the time right it's kind of like this dirty crusty sort of cakey powdery gooey thing but but it had all these different colors to it and and like smells and stuff you know why 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 did I find uh, climbing into a bikini as a child as like something like I was going to become like this develop this level of sexual attraction when I got older I don't know I don't know why why would I look in the mirror and go and like oh I like this why I, I don't know right Conversely, like why my mother, my mother bought me a, a Brooks jacket once, a used Brooks jacket. And uh, it was like extreme light blue and it had darts on the side for breasts. And, and I didn't have a fall jacket. And she was like, here, this is your fall jacket. And I'm like, well, I'll get laughed at for wearing this. It even has darts. And I was like, it doesn't, it's a jacket. You don't need to worry about that. It's a jacket. And my mother's a feminist, so she may have been kind of like trying to somewhat dis disseminate like these staunch kind of like gender roles that, that are in a lot of ways just crap, right? It's just it's just bunk. You know, it's something that we, we create and, and creates problems at the same time, right? And and I, I remember being adverse to wearing this, this jacket, but I also did not have another jacket. And so I, I wore it, you know, in fear of being mocked and, and having gotten mocked for wearing this jacket, but, but and that's, a, that's, this is kind of another story for another day, but like, but also liking the jacket, not liking the jacket because it was a gift, but liking the color of it. You know, I, I don't know. You know, my mother never did things to me like make me wear a dress. She never made me make me never made me wear makeup. You know, I, I don't think my mother likes the idea that I've transitioned. To be honest with you, I, I don't know that she's like like trying to drive. I don't know that she. I mean, when I was younger, she kind of like drove it out of me a bit. You know, but I mean, this jacket was in her her point of view. This jacket was just a very unisex jacket and she was just like you jacket this is a jacket it's a unisex jacket this is what I can afford to give you this is your jacket you know you need to wear it because it's a jacket and you need a jacket but that, that is also like the only example of that I don't I, my mother actively tried to correct it at times you know uh when I when I had a a boyfriend at fourteen for like three months, um, it did it didn't feel like like uh, you know because I, I know what sex now as as a girl who transitioned now versus then, and it did not feel versus homosexual sex like male male sex. You know, it did not feel like homosexual sex. It felt more of like the type of sex I have now. But, and, and then, but too, conversely, I also dated women. I had relations with women, you know, and, and there was, and there was the similarities between those two experiences are like, you know, there, there was this aspect of like, romance and sensuality and intimacy and stuff like that 
there were things that like that I want in affection, you know, that I want in bed, that I that I that that I more so got with women. You know, and then and, and having transitioned, I would like like I don't know why anybody would want to put themselves in this disposition. It doesn't make any sense to me. Legit does not make any sense to me. Why would you do it to self? Do this to yourself. You know, and then I I just kind of like stuffed it away, and I and I just went on through life as as an adult male, until society started changing. Right, it it was always there. You know the way the way you know like I had girlfriends who were like, "Are you gay?" Did you seem gay? You know, are you, are you, are you, like, why are you so feminine? Because you seem, you seem gay. Are you gay? You know, it was like this strain on various relationships. Partly that's true. Right? Like, like at that point in time in my life, that was, that was partly true. You know, and I had some, I had some boyfriends throughout life and didn't, like gay sex didn't really like like do it for me. 